Hello and welcome to the Robo Samurai channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a double review. Yes, both of these are the new Transformers Legacy United. Um, we have Animated Universe Bumblebee on the left hand side and we have Cyberverse Universe Windblade on the right hand side. Both of these are deluxe class and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to unbox these. This is something I... Uh, these just came in from Amazon, so I'm really super excited to kind of open these, take a look at them. Um, I'll do some comparisons in another video, um, but uh, yeah, let's just get these kind of going because uh, yeah, this is completely unexpected. So um, we'll, we'll start. Well, well, let's 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 check this out. So this is Windblade's box, everyone. So we can kind of look at the look at the art there. We've got this here. And yep, it's still no plastic here. And then we've got, oh, look at that. Hey, is there like another side to this? <laughs> yeah, there is. Check that out. 40 years. <laughs> hey, look at that. What do you think of that? Hmm? Nice artwork when you put them together. And then you can kind of see the stuff in the back here. So no, this is not a two pack. These are sold separately. And, you know, like I said, we just got these and you can kind of see the artwork on them um yeah and why am i doing them together why not i mean we got them all here um and yeah this is going to be a, an interesting thing so uh let's go on ahead and start with windblade because probably yeah i don't know both of these characters are really great so cyberverse universe windblade nice artwork nice packaging this is coagulated cardboard which is a little bit different material than they used to use so i'm thankful for it it's good stuff Let's go ahead and cut this open and then get all these twist, twist ties or whatever they got in here out of the way. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get this. Yeah, actually, it's a lot easier than you think. So, uh, so the first part will be Windblade. And we're going to pull this out. There's a... There's the uh, the box. Really tough box. I like this. I like this coagulated cardboard. It's really solid. So yeah, and uh, that's cool for that. And then we have you know here's Windblade in the box uh, mounted in here. And then we have of course these little plastic ties. And check this out. The little paper now has Autobot symbols all over it. <laughs> that's cool. So we'll go ahead and open that. These are her accessories. Actually, let's just get this out too. Okay, so we'll get these and, and cut them. One, two, three, and four. All right, four of them, huh? Five. Kit, there we go. And then uh, that one there. All right, so there we go. And uh, you stand there. And that's all we got for the, the rest of the packaging. Here's the warning label stuff, and here's the instructions, which I'm probably going to need here. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the warning stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out the accessories. We'll go on ahead and pose her over here so we can kind of do that. And uh, Oh, yeah, kind of nice there. So um, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I just want to do these first impressions right off the bat, you know. And plus, I could do two and one. So let's see here. We'll cut this in a very careful way wow this paper is almost that's just so cool man like <laughs> i've never seen anything like that so um well usually it's just some boring paper right so now they've got uh autobot design in here it makes it's like autobot wrapping paper <laughs> all right so let's see if i can't maybe i can salvage some of this stuff man that's it's regrettable. I have to just kind of like wreck it to get all the accessories inside. Ooh, let's do this. I think, uh, yeah, well, we'll do our best not to give it the treatment that I do with all the other uh, paper. So here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, hey, it's kind of unraveling just a bit. We cut the tape. Oh, yeah. Autobot wrapping paper, everyone. <laughs> Happy December. All right. Let's see here. What accessories does she have? Oh, she has one accessory. Nope. No, is there another accessory in there? What is that? There's something else in here. Ah, uh -huh, there it is. Yep. And all you have is wrapping paper. Save this. Anyway, um, let me put this aside. And look, we got a sword. This is very cool. And you can kind of see it's all purple, transparent, plastic. And this is um, painted back down here. This is painted black. 
and it's also clear so that's also neat and then this here which i don't even need to guess what this is this is uh this is the back crest here so it's painted gold and i'll bet you it just pegs right in there yeah sure does there's a slot right there let me put that in and i think it's going to stay there you know pretty much forever there we go so that's kind of what the head looks like so yeah hey cool stuff look at this figure and dynamite man this is great <laughs> um well, it's not too bad i mean it's solid it feels very solid like let's see here can we pose it can she just do the kicks and still stand like balanced let's find out oh whoa there we go um i don't know it's kind of tough i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie so uh, i want i want her to do this so i want her to do that so maybe maybe there's some other balance stuff we can do with it anyway let's go over the figure review let's review this figure i've never really even i've never even had this figure well i've had other versions of this figure so uh, in a future video maybe i'll just do some comparisons anyway so let's take a look at the paint job and uh yeah we've got some nice uh, blue paint here we've got an autobot symbol right there some silver paint right here on the abdomen and waist we got some blue paint right around here on the wrists and we've got blue paint more silver paint here on the shins knees shins there we go and what else do we have um you can sell there's some silver accents back here do these turn um well, they look like they do. Yep, so you can flip these around if you feel like it. That seems good. Um, there's, uh, you know, she definitely has the waist swivel, right? So um, let's take a look at the head here. Oh, yeah, that, that paint job's pretty decent. Pretty decent. I like that. Very nice. So, yeah, looking good. And uh, I like the way the, the heels kind of have the thrusters in them. This just is a this looks like an all-around good figure so um you know we've got uh her hands can go out arms can go out all that there's some wrist swivel on the hands you can get like almost 90 degree of bend at the elbow we can also do the whole this of course you you know it, it's blocked by the wing the wings can move a little bit out of the way for some things so you can get some poses out of that um let's see here and we already talked about the waist swivel being there she can do the splits both ways it looks like with no hindrances or issues the knees bend 90 degrees it looks like that might tab in there and uh yeah and then we also have ankle tilt which i've been playing with already and uh and then a toe tilt up forward so all this can help balance the figure and uh yeah so she can do all that stuff and then she has a sword the sword can go here it looks apparently uh she can hold it in her hands um there are five millimeter ports here and here but uh you know i mean it doesn't really fit there um there should be something and i'm not looking at the directions at all so <laughs> um it would look like you could probably mount this somehow there are pegs on this sword right here and here so there's that's kind of an interesting thing all right so um how about some comparisons sure you know what i have to compare it with i have this optimus prime to compare it with why not holiday optimus prime i mean there's that and then of course here is the um the netflix optimus prime um, which is just like the other Optimus Prime. So that kind of gives you an idea of the scale of this figure and how tall it is, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. So let's put those aside and let's see what we can do about transforming it. First of all, I'm going to have to take a look at the instructions. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. And basically, um, the instructions have told me, yeah, put the crest in there and then she can hold the sword. So that's uh, stuff I, oh, another thing that is telling me is that she can also hold the crest as well. Now, some of you that are, uh, really hardcore Windblade fans can tell me like, is that a weapon thing? I don't remember seeing this. Of course I don't know, but yeah, she can hold her crest in her hand thusly. So there's that. All right. So um yeah let's go on ahead and i think you should just leave it there um we'll go on ahead and oh yeah by the way so do these move uh, instructions say it, you can move them but i think that they just kind of move with the 
the elbow the the shoulders there so um all right so let's go transform it let's transform it let's do that shall we okay um all right first thing it tells us to do is push down these shoulders so that they're down all the way i suppose you can have them up like this but they're saying push them down so they are kind of down like in this direction and then you're going to come back here and well the funny thing is is that they tell you to pull this down so um this nose down it was already down so that's that you would go from here to here Ta -da. there you go all right um now uh we're going to take this here assembly and it appears like we're going to split it let's see here oh yeah see so it splits like this so split it in half and um let's see here what does it say next yep all the way out all the way out um and then you want to let's see here uh, we'll put this oh i see so you're gonna these are on a double hinge these pieces that are folded up underneath and you want to straighten them out all the way like that so this side here and this side here has the bigger piece of uh, nose cone on it so we want to do that so split them out all the way like that get those double hinged all the way out so all right so then the next thing we're going to do is make sure that the wings are down like in this position here um and let's see here they're saying let's see make sure we got everything right you know as we're doing this on the fly <laughs> um all right and uh, that looks good um so if you see here there is yeah i'm I'm trying to figure out really kind of what the instructions are referring to there but i think it's all about making sure that this is flipped up all right so and then oh i see what's going on so they said pull these down i've just got to see what the directions are saying now clear they are i'll rate those later um and then you want to pull this whole thing up it looks like this uh-huh yep just like that so you're gonna pull these together and then there are two little tabs here and the tabs are going to fit right into her shoulder so you want one here and you want one here okay just like that all right and next because yes i am doing this live um then fold it up I knew that part so we take these and collapse them collapse the nose together over her head so that it covers it up so you should have something that looks like that there we go just like that okay and now it says turn this uh 180 degrees so you want it like that okay and then we're going to collapse these legs together so they they're, they're going to tab together where these wings are here and then where these pieces are here so that there and that there okay all right and then we're going to fold these toes down okay and we're going to fold this piece up like this so it kind of comes up like this so fold the those down these come up and it'll look like that that's kind of what you're aiming for okay and then uh we're going to take doo -doo -doo -doo. all right oh we're going to fold these out the wings on the sides here one and two got that and then we're going to take this entire thing and flip it on top like let's hope this actually works the way uh, oh i see so we're gonna unpeg these see this and pull this out this is kind of a neat mechanism and pull it all the way to the front all the way to the front just like that and then i guess what's going to happen is is that these are all going to open up and and you should have it positioned so these pegs she can hold these pegs with her hands so 
Um, already I'm beginning to really like this design. I think this is kind of a neat transformation. So um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get through the rest of it. All right, so there it's going to fit down and see how that works there. So we're going to fold that in and then that's going to be like that. And then we're going to put her wrists right on top of that. Okay. And let's see here. What is else is this telling us to do? I'll make sure that these are closed up. And then um, let's see here. I think we're just going to close these back here i think the z's go big here ah just like that so fold it like that and there's a little slot and a tab right here there's tabs on the shin you just plug that in right there give that a nice squeeze make sure it's tight and um so we made sure that all those are locked in i think even these here the wings are supposed to tab in there just for your own reference so we got that there and that there okay and then um yep so far so good there is we turn this over there is a it's supposed to be a landing gear and you can pull that out right here right there and then um yeah that's uh that's pretty much it that's windblade in her uh alt mode check this thing out let's check it out um this is pretty nice look at how it's very solid. I'm going to tell you in hand, this is very solid figure. Um, like in both, both modes. Now, of course you can see the robot kibble down here, but I like how they incorporated this to make it a more stable, um, kind of like, you know, her hands and wrists are holding onto those pegs. Um, but I think it's good. I think that works for me, you know? Um, and like I said, it's nice and solid too. So, and let's see here. This looks like it should open. And I want to break it, but uh, no, no, it does not open. The cockpit, the canopy does not open. So, um, but it does tell you, you can take this and you can put this, uh, I think here is what they were saying. <laughs> um, there is, yeah. So you can take the two pegs and you can plug this in uh, here. You can split her legs just a bit our feet i should say and you can plug it in there and then it will peg it oh man there it goes wrecked on air come on back here that's not supposed to happen okay well let's see here did i actually break it no it didn't it's just a friction joint but it's a solid friction joint yo all right so let's put that back oh yeah here it is it's right here all right everything gets to go back uh False alarm, false alarm, everyone. <laughs> so I guess her holding on to this really doesn't uh, keep it solid. <laughs> All right. So, but anyway, that's what they want you to do. I don't think I'll do this, to be honest with you. I don't really care for that effect. That's very weird to me. And besides, it was a pain. You know, if I wanted to add that, I should have done that, you know, uh, when I was, before I was transforming it and, uh, or at least in the process of it, but I prefer this. Yeah, this is to me not too bad And like I said, you can you can kind of rotate these little guys here. So um, So that's yeah, so that's Windblade in her alt mode and I think that this is a fantastic addition um, to the uh, the new Legacy United line so without any delay let's get into bumblebee because most of you are here for that maybe you were here for the other thing too so we already talked about the the, the box art and everything else um as we do this double feature let's cut this thing open um and yeah you can kind of see wait a second stinger things yeah stinger things and then these here and then there it is there if you were a fan of animated then yeah that's gonna be a that's gonna be a uh a thing for you okay so 40 years of transformers woohoo generations <laughs> so let's get this thing open and get them out so like again this craggulated cardboard solid move there i like it um hopefully we can continue to get things like that okay so and here's the instructions and oh man there's that awesome awesome you know those are those things we don't care about those um so let's wipe by all these oh i gotta get this out too hot oh, okay there 
cut that and we'll cut this all right and um wow he's small <laughs> um that's a smaller bot that's okay he's supposed to be small right so oh, two more one two we've got three here and four there all right and we're gonna have to pull them out and put them here and that's about it for that piece hopefully i'm not missing like the dakota ring part or whatever no there's nothing there um okay and then there's the wrapping paper wow after a while maybe it's not worth it to save the wrapping paper i don't know so uh, in here in this thing are going to be very interesting artifacts so let's get this thing open uh yeah as neat as possible there we go hey maybe it'll be easier this time hmm? okay autobot wrapping paper beautiful now i know what to wrap my uh friend's gifts in <laughs> no we won't be doing that okay so he has two of these little accessories that's very cool gray uh, grayish plastic these are his i guess bombs and then these are supposed to be his stinger thing accessories so very interesting very interesting indeed okay so what are we dealing with here okay we've got bumblebee not a lot of plastic here <laughs> um but yeah there he is uh, let's take a look at the head sculpt interesting he has got a slight smirk on his face if you can see that um you know and his head is on a ball joint it's very tough um you know and uh yeah he's got black he's yellow and black because you know that's bumblebee's colors like forever um yeah he's got uh you can see some of the the, the alt mode accents back here we've got a little autobot symbol tampograph there painted on the clear plastic of course and uh yeah that's it so um and uh, yeah, I don't know about that, but that's really loose. Look at that, guys. See that? Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. So this one's a little bit more solid. This one's loose. Loose. Okay. Well, hey, that's something I can probably fix. So now I'm not too worried about it. Let's see here. Is it all in the same? Yeah, it's all looking good. All right. So, mm -hmm. all right. So we've got all of that going on. Um, of course, he can rotate these arms, but uh, ironically, they don't go all the way around. That's about it, fellas. Look at everybody. Look, see, it, it goes this far back and this. That's all you get. Hmm. Okay. The 90 degree. Now you get a little bit more 90 degree on that, on the elbow bend. Okay. <clears throat> so... And then he has, uh, you know, it looks like he can do the full splits. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much. And then both ways. So, yeah, that's cool. Knee bend. Well, he's got more than 90 degree on that knee bend. So that's nice. Um, <coughs> you can get him in a roll and a pose. Yeah. So, and then, of course, he's does he have ankle tilt? He's got a slight bit of ankle tilt. And not really any toe tilt whatsoever. And that is really disturbing that that came off like that. Um, don't worry. I'll put it right back where I found it. I promise. There we go. It is back where it belongs. So, um, yeah, interesting. So let's give a, let's, let's put all holiday prime comparison right here. And then here is the, uh, you know, the, um, the Netflix Optimus prime from, uh, siege. So, yeah, that's interesting. All right. Um, what else can we do with this okay he does have accessories let's find out how to accessorize him we will have to look at the instructions very quickly and very briefly and you see that <laughs> all right so um supposedly you can take these here and you flip the oh, let's see are we transforming it? yeah this is kind of it so there's a special set of instructions pull up his arms like this and then um, both of them like that open up these little doors both of them like this to his side arms um, the sides of his arms i should say it that way and then flip is it flip back you flip back his wrists like so and do the other one here and then um 
Shoop. Let's see here. What am we going to need? Um, oh, not yet. Nothing yet. So then it says, just go ahead and close these up. Is that right? I don't know, I guess. And then pull these together like, what, this? Hmm? Oh, um, make sure they're like this. Pull them together. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess it's supposed to be like this. Nope, it's supposed to be like, well, the instructions are showing me to do it like this. Make sure his, his wheels are like that, and then this, and then you want to take this thing here there we go like that and then so we've got these and it looks like that these are now at an angle so you can plug the oh uh, you're supposed to okay according to the directions take your two little stinger thingies plug them together there's a little peg there and let's uh, so hope this fits yep sure sure does fit and then take, um, oh, this came off again. Come on, just stay. There we go, stay. All right. Now, um, now you can plug this, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This Plug this into here and plug this into here. All right, there you go. And then there's, you've got, he's got his, his little stinger thingy. And that's how it looks, see? And you can kind of see how they've got it uh, so that it works like this. So, and you get this pose with it. Uh, up. And he can, he can shoot you with a smile. <laughs> you know, um, so fun stuff. All right. Well, interesting, interesting indeed. So, and then the only other thing they have is they say you can take these just as an accessory uh, thing. And uh, you can return these back. Um, so flip these wrists back out thusly close that up and then you can do the same thing on this side here okay close that up now they say you can take these split this here for the alt mode <laughs> oh this is kind of tough i guess i'll mm. okay, yeah so once they come once you put them together they just don't want to split apart i might have to get a spudger for this so hold on just one second fortunately i happen to have some just sitting around here for a purpose no it wasn't there so there we go so i had to split that because man this is tight i'm not gonna lie so there now they say take these plug this here on the back okay of these these missile things so and this, just like that and then he can hold these as weapons like this okay so he can hold this one like that and this one like that okay ho 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 and there we go and there's bumblebee holding his bumblebee stinger things now the other thing that they say you can do is you plug them in take them out of here and you can plug them into his back and use them like uh rockets okay that's nice and creative cool see <laughs> and then you can blast off so very interesting cool so we'll go on ahead and put those aside and uh yeah so that's the many uses of bumblebee anime bumblebee's accessories all right well let's go on ahead and get with, along with the main show here let's transform this thing now uh we'll go on ahead and do the wrists back to where they were so close that close that open that close that open swivel close there now we want to turn these so that the doors face this way which feels a little counterintuitive but that's okay we'll do it because the instructions tell us to um all right so then we pick up this we kind of unpeg that and pull this all the way around i guess um and up to the top just like that okay and then we have to take um oh yeah so we're gonna take these here is this it these those these no these 
there so his shins open that's what i i knew it um so his shins open like this and uh so open the shins so that they're like that um and then uh what we're gonna do is we're going to flip in these little guys and this one continues so he just wants to fall off like that <laughs> okay so let me see if i can't get that back in all right so there and you'll see that there's a little like rounded post here and then this little piece will fit right around it so you should be able to push that all the way in around that so there's that and that okay so and then um we're going to take these and flip them in so these feet lift them up lift them up there it is there uh oh hold on just a second there we go so i gotta flip these over that's what that means um and then we're going to take this let's see how this direction says it um flip these all the way around so move these arms out of the way and then turn these 180 degrees just like that so rotate them just like that then flip these little guys in right here and then you can go on ahead and close those up so like that and that mm -hmm. they'll fit just like that and then close these up and they'll you'll see tab slot snap there we go all right now we're moving to turn this 180 degrees around just like that and then uh let's see here hopefully we got this right all right so there is a little piece here and it is um, let's see all right so that that, that and this so hopefully i don't break this here um what i'm trying to do is move this over here there now you see that so you're gonna have to pull so that it, you can angle this piece over and you'll see it right here it's uh it swings right there on that hinge pull that all the way over i believe it's what it wants us to do and then this windshield will tab into the front of the car now and then we're going to take these turn these around and move them back i think okay wait <laughs> uh so we're gonna it's according to the directions you pull these over here and there well this is a little bit more interesting transformation okay let's see that i see so mm -hmm. in order to do this properly okay uh i'll have to pull this over thusly this has to be in front of that so um and I don't think that there's a good way to do it without opening that door again. So, and, uh, yeah, I think that's right there. Oh, actually, you might just need to leave the door open. Let's see. What are the directions telling us to do? Maybe I should follow them. Yes, got it. So, and that's going to be the way we get that, uh, that done, I believe. Uh, there. Okay and then we want to make sure that these all kind of line up here this will go here but it's kind of a it's a little bit of an interesting joint that they've made here so i want to make sure that this is proper i don't know if it is so uh let's see all right okay and then uh -oh, nope not that way at the back of it all right well
Okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, I'm gonna do this uh, this way. So <clears throat> make sure that these are both folded out like this. So you wanna start it with them out. Then you're going to push both of these in. So if you see, that's actually a double hinge here. So both are supposed to go in and fold that way, okay? So, and then they said that, uh, you know, the directions tell me to go on ahead and flip these in, but I've already done it. So, um, now let's make sure that this is oriented correctly. Make sure everything is sitting properly. Um, okay, so. Um, I've already, like I said, I've already put them in there, but the position these should be in is like this. So make sure that your, you know, the things that you had for the stingers are like this. So they should be in this position. And uh, let's see here. I think what we're going to do is open these doors. And that's what I was trying to do earlier, and I didn't understand what it was I was doing. So, you know, uh, let's go on ahead and do that. So we opened up that, opened up the door, and then the whole thing yeah that's right so these are supposed to be open like that all right and then we're supposed to flip this whole thing up and that's kind of where it gets a little bit weird you know so and this goes here hmm. and then the same on this side uh, with that there and this here thanks for bearing with me everybody because you know just figuring it out on the fly and that's pretty much it so it's gonna it's gonna kind of be lined up in this manner you're gonna have to pull these in and pull them up on that double hinge so all right so and now let me take this and yeah you're supposed to push these in so once you get them here you're supposed to push them in but i don't see a place where that actually happens very easily um so uh, but i have done this according to the directions so we'll just say we did it right and it kind of looks right to me so make sure this is all tight and then we pull the back down and we open this hinge and we close this up so and then these here there's some tabs and slots so if you look there's some slots there on the back of the wheels and there and then you're supposed to just pull those together like that and let's see here all right so there's bumblebee i think we got it so there we go that's Bumblebee in his alt mode. So from Transformers Animated. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take these little guys here and you put them here on the side um, to complete the look. So, yeah. Um, kind of an interesting transformation, but also a very confusing one in some places. But, uh, you know, how does that look? Well, we've got some painted tires here. Um, we've got the, of course, these. this is where they go these little stinger missile things but you know outside of that it kind of looks a little bit bland up here like it could use something else you know so um although i think that part of the look is to cover that up but that's what it looks like in its raw you know kind of alt mode so um and then we've got you know silver paint on the wheels pretty much the standard stuff you know a little bit of black paint here and there's those gold headlights and all that so it rolls just fine um it and then, uh, you know, there's some more five millimeter pegs, although, frankly, in my opinion, I probably would have just got rid of these. Um, uh, might have made this thing look a little bit more uh, smoother, you know. So, yeah, this here, like I said. So the intention is, is that you do keep these on here to kind of covers up those panels. But outside of that, it doesn't look very uh, finished, unfortunately. But, you know, not 
not half bad, I suppose. Um, anyway, so for this double feature review, I think that that pretty much does it. Um, yeah. Um, so I like the Windblade one. I think this one here looks really good. Um, this one here, uh, it's got a weak elbow on my copy or a weak uh, shoulder, I should say, on my copy. And, uh, you know, and the details uh, in, the, in the car mode look okay. I think it's okay. It's, it's passable. Um, I do like the robot mode. I think the robot mode looks pretty good on this, but, um, you know, and it's, it's kind of small, but you know, that's pretty much what we got going on here. So yeah, this has been a double review of both Windblade and, um, and animated Bumblebee. So, Hey, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for my, um, for dropping by my channel and we'll talk to you next time.